Well, many, many congratulations, Anthony. Another away win, a clean sheet. Doesn't get much better, does it? <laughs> no, it was. We knew we we really knew this was going to be a tough fixture for us. I think, regardless of where the teams were in the table, Manchester with a new manager had a reaction in their last home game here, so we thought the crowd would be would be up for it. Um, the new manager is a good manager as well, one that I'm sure will do well here with good experience. And the fact that they didn't play on the weekend and we did, I thought was probably a disadvantage physically for us. But I think once we started the game, we played well in the first 25 minutes. We passed the ball quite well. Um, the pitch was really good which allowed us to do that but we got on the ball and was glad to see um, Kane Ferdinand score from a great cross from Matt Young and I think Kane was, was very very good tonight and was pleased he got that goal and uh, you know the first 20-25 minutes were probably some of the best football I've seen working play in a long time the way you move the ball there was a Christmas to the passing yep. and of course that goal was superb yeah, we, we do a lot of work in training on passing. I think you can tell from the games that you'd watch anyway. It's part of our philosophy. We want to keep possession, but we want to have effective possession as well. We, we've scored, I wouldn't like so many goals we've scored from crosses, but it would be a few now. Um, we want to work the ball into wide areas and penetrate into the box. So that was pleasing to get that goal. We, we don't want to just play good football, but we want to play effective football as well. So, And you mentioned uh, Kane Ferdinand. He was outstanding tonight, I yeah. thought. He really, really bossed the midfield. Some of his interceptions were superb. His general all-round play, his passing. Yeah. And, of course, he capped it off with a fine goal. There's no doubt that we knew when we signed Kane for this season that he was a good player, but he had to improve his work rate and his um, sort of like his, his defensive side of the game. And, and no more than tonight. I think if you counted the amount of interceptions he got, nicking in front, regained second balls, was just fantastic. And then when they do that, the whole team, it gives them a platform to then go and play and do his bits on the ball. And I think when he's playing well and passing the ball well, we, we tend to play well. And he's been key in the, in the victories that we've had along, alongside Chez. I think they've played quite well together in there recently. So. And another goal for Jamie Philpott. He can't stop scoring, can he? Yeah, I was pleased for him. Um, I think he almost made the goal himself, didn't he? He pressed the keeper and sort of chased and harried and sometimes does a lot of work up there that maybe doesn't get as noticed. And great for him that he can score that goal. And that's three and three for him now. And obviously, a mention to Innie as well, who's come off the bench in each game and really affected the game and done his job too. Something that Jamie was doing when Innie was starting. So there's healthy competition at the moment, especially between those two. And it's good to see them scoring. And no Nathan Ralph tonight. I'm yep. assuming he he carrying a knock and Fabio came in and did a decent job didn't he at left yeah, back and that, that shows the good work that's been done by the physio PJ and the strength and conditioning coach Musa to get him up to fitness to be able to handle a game at this level it's not that easy he'd been out for a long time he'd played a couple of reserve games but didn't have the minutes that he'd had tonight and the fact that he went in there and kept a clean sheet as a left back in probably not his favoured position was a real credit to him and he's a very clever player and he understands the game and, and works very hard on the tactical side as well so yeah I was really pleased for him and then obviously for Lazar to get his start to be thrown into the, the fire pit so to speak was a, was a big test for him but he did a job at left back and saw the game out Yeah it's fair to say he looked a little nervous to start with but he settled yeah. in didn't he? Yeah and he was probably more nervous when he sang his song at lunch um, <laughs> rather than he was getting on the pitch but no look he's a, he, a credit to him uh, it's not easy going in in that it's not easy coming on in a game like that when you're defending a lot second half anyway however in your first game and, and yeah he's got a big future ahead of him and we'll keep working with him and you rested Jamie Ward tonight and brought in Bobson it shows doesn't it it's a, it's a squad yeah it does and sometimes we've got to remember with those attacking players they do a lot of work for our team pressing working hard a lot of running and sometimes I think we do need to freshen that up we've got good options across that sort of front line behind the striker <coughs> 7, 9 oh sorry 7, 10 and 11 and sometimes they just need a little bit of a freshen up and Bobson yeah but did what Bobson does worked hard got crosses in and, and was quite lively in the game especially in the first half and you're making this management lark incredibly easy at the moment Anthony what is the secret? Well it's, the secret is it's certainly not easy um, it's only a start for us we're happy with it but it's really the support of the club the staff have been brilliant with me the players we've got in have bought into what we've been trying to do we work very hard on the training ground and to get organised and you can see I think what our philosophy and our style is and the players have really bought into that and want to implement it um, we do know it's only a good start at the minute though and I think it probably helps that the league is just so crazy at the moment that everybody's beaten everyone and the amount of teams that probably you thought were up there maybe aren't at the minute so listen we know we've got a long way to go we've still got our targets for the season um, we set our targets each month and we, we want to achieve them but what must be pleasing is that every game your side seems to be improving and growing in confidence there's a great spirit about the team and a great sense of belief as well yeah there is I think whether we go a goal down or a goal in front we don't really change um, we've come back in games we've seen games out 
we've seen out and won games from different things when other teams are trying to play and are on top of us or trying to put the ball in the box and I think we've got a, t a little bit more of a toughness and a stillness about us as well I mean the other thing to remember is is that it is a brand new team virtually isn't it we didn't keep many players from last year um, unfortunately so whether that be going in the league or they went to other clubs or whatnot so we've only really had the players for probably four months so it's going to take time to gel and get together and I think they're learning the style and 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 how we want to play but the pleasing thing for us as staff is we want to make sure that the the players reflect the hard work and the effort that like the fans show when they come and watch us away from home and especially at home as well that you can see that the players try and work hard and run around and are really proud and know what it means to play for Woking and I think whether you win, lose or draw the, the, the fans really should hopefully see that so far this season And of course there's real competition now for places isn't there if you think you're missing Orlu, Jones, Banton Yeah, you could probably argue tonight we had maybe five possibly six starters who could start we're out with um, yeah, Orlu Jones, Louis Ramsey was out, Nathan Ralph tonight, um, Joe Ward we rested. Um, so I think it's yeah, it shows there is competition for places. That's good. It's healthy competition. People are being left out of the squad or left off the bench and coming into the team and really impacting as well, whether that be for 10, 15, 20 minutes. So that's really pleasing, pleasing for us that they understand their role. It's a small squad as well so I think they understand that they, they will play and they will get opportunities and just please for some of them taking their opportunities like Jordan Winter has been fantastic for us at centre half playing in a new position for him and like Fabio comes in tonight and keeps a clean sheet and please for him also so it's good and you're now up to third I think in the table and on Saturday you played Dagenham at home your thoughts about that game yeah I probably seem to say every week that it's another tough game but I really think it is um John Steele's obviously a, a top manager at this level. He's assembled a good side and probably a side that'll be right up there, which they are at the moment. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get back into training this week and work hard and make sure we're prepared for them and, and give it everything at home. We've got good record at home. I think five wins, one draw, one loss. Yeah, so we, yeah, we, we, we don't fear anyone at home, but we do know it's going to be tough just like tonight and just like in every single game, if I'm honest. Lovely. Thank you very much for your time and safe journey home. Thank you.